guys, it's Kylie from Fellowship of the Vegetable, and today I'm going to do a little test review of this gluten-free brownie mix I found in the store today. I'm going to veganize it, and let's see how they turn out. First, you want to preheat your oven to 325 and grease an 8x8 or 9x9 pan. I'm using a glass pan, and I use a little bit of coconut oil to grease that. Uh, next, you want to figure out what you want to use to replace your eggs. So there are a few different things you can use. You can use apple cider vinegar, applesauce, tofu, uh, flaxseed meal. But today I'm going to use a banana because this banana needs to be used soon. And plus it adds a bit of sweetness and moisture to bake goods. So I think it'll be a good fit for brownies. So first what you want to do is take your banana and you're going to want to smash it up a little bit with a fork and kind of get good kind of mushy consistency out of it. So just you know, a few good mashes with the fork. Next you want to add in your butter. So it calls for half a cup of butter and I'm going to replace that with vegan earth balance butter and I already melted it so we're going to add that in and continue mashing that up with the banana. Get it all good and incorporated. And next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of water. So once I do this, I'm going to continue to incorporate that into the banana mash, just to make sure everything is mixed together well. And once we're done with that, we're going to stir in our gluten-free brownie mix. So the only thing that's in here is sugar, tapioca starch, rice flour, cocoa, baking powder, some natural vanilla flavor, and salt. You could probably make that yourself with all those ingredients, but uh, let's face it, I tend to be a little lazy when it comes to baked goods, so when I see a mix that's already naturally vegan, I'm going to use it. It's not really easy to find vegan and gluten-free baked goods readily available, so occasionally it's fun to just make them yourself. And with a mix like this, it's really easy, so I'm really hoping these turn out tasting good. So just incorporate everything together, get it into a nice doughy, gooey mixture. It actually smells really good. I kind of want to just eat this batter. All right, put a little muscle into it. Get it all mixed up. You may get some chunks of banana in there, but that's okay. Chocolate and banana taste good together, right? Usually, the, the times that I've used banana in baked goods, it doesn't really give it an overly banana flavor, which is nice, but it definitely adds some sweetness. This is pretty well incorporated. Okay, let's put this into the pan. Try to get all that chocolatey brownie goodness off the sides of the pan. Or you could just lick it off later with the spoon. I usually leave that to my husband. Okay, I'm to in there. Now I am gonna try the batter. I'm curious. Ooh, I think these are going to be really good. Mm. Smooth it on out evenly into the pan. And looks like they're ready to be popped into the oven. And it goes into the oven. Now we play the waiting game. Forty-five minutes and they were still kind of liquidy and bubbly so I put them back in for another 10 to 15 minutes and I definitely think something went wrong. Um, they're just not setting up right. No! 
After almost an hour in the oven, I'm still left with this soupy, gelatinous brownie goo. Um, my guess is something in the chemistry didn't quite work very well. I've used banana in replace of eggs before in baked goods, but they weren't gluten free, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. Um, yeah, sad face, because these smell really good, but it's more like brownie pudding than brownies. So, it's a big fat fail on my part, but hey, you know, now you know. Don't use the gluten-free brownie mix with banana and earth balance, I guess. <laughs> so next time we'll try something different. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more, hopefully, non-fail videos. And if you're a fan of failing, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks!